It is Atlanta's number one hip hop station, Hot 107.9. Right now, you locked in with your boy Reese. I got my partner in good in the city with me, Aaron Ray. What's up? What's up? <laughs> you over there shining and everything. And we got a new friend of the show, JoJo. What's happening? What's going on, guys? <laughs> <laughs> we was having a deep conversation behind closed doors, but I guess we're going to let y'all in on some of the things that's going on. Are you gearing up for another season of Love and Hip Hop Miami? I can't believe you back. I can't believe it either. <laughs> <laughs> that check must have been right. <clears throat> it was okay, you know. <laughs> it, ain't, it, ain't, it ain't JoJo check. JoJo used JoJo to take check. money. Exactly. All right. Well, you let us in on a lot of your personal business last season with your mom and your dad and all that stuff that was going on, and you had a bunch of stuff. So how did we get did we all resolved from all of that stuff now? Um, in a way, I mean, the divorce is over, mm -hmm. but you know, my family's like completely falling falling apart. Wow. Yeah. yeah, I went through a bunch of stuff with my dad because, you know, he was hurt that I took my mom's side, right. especially publicly. Right. You know, he felt embarrassed. But you fought that for a while. Like, it looked like you were fighting it. Like, I don't want to take sides like my dad and it's my mom. So You know, I got to a point where I got subpoenaed to go to court, so I really had no choice. Yeah, you didn't have a choice. And at yeah. the end of the day, I can't lie on my mom. Right. Well, you you're know? not supposed to lie on, on uh, yeah. Stan anyway. But exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you could always be like, I don't know. Right, right, right. I never heard of that. I don't know. Right. But, you know, I decided to do what I thought was the right thing, even if it cost me, you know, my dad supporting me financially, whatever it was. You know, I was okay with it. I got you. I yeah. got you. At the end of the day, you was trying to do the right thing. Exactly. Now, moving forward, you're still getting to these checks. Your fashion line is crazy. Yeah. Yes, it is. So she be yeah. shopping on your site. That's how she knows. Yeah. She's like, you think uh, she give me a discount? Right now. Or, no, but I definitely think that is way bigger than the show. Like when he yeah. said you coming back, we are surprised that you even came back because your brand is so dope on its own. Well, right. you know, I felt like season one, this is what I didn't really like about the show. Like people, I have a huge career in the fashion world. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like for a stylist, like I have so many names under my belt. Right. Like you got I've like been, Thug, everybody. Yeah, everybody that's, you know, a fashion icon in the industry at right. this point. So I wanted them to kind of like, you know, expand on that. Right. And instead, of course, they decided to expand on my family right. and the all drama. that stuff. So, you know, I felt like I didn't have a chance. I, you know, everybody was just calling me a rich girl. And nobody really understood, like, you know, I hustle for my shit. own, you right. know. So season two, I was trying to come back and really kind of, like, explain, you know, yeah. what's going on. Which I don't think they're doing a very good job. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know. Reality TV is good and it's bad. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? Did you, like, did it, you see that you get more support from your boutique from off of the show? Of course. Mm. And that's the, the biggest reason why I wanted to do it. Season okay. one, because I, I opened my store on the show. So, mm -hmm. you know, as a business person, it's a great marketing tool right. for any business that you're doing, especially a new one. Right. So, you know, that was my whole strategy behind it, and it has helped a lot. That's what's up. Yeah. How did you link with, like, Thug and Birdman and Kodak and all these people? Um. Well, I mean, obviously everybody has a different story, but I think, you know, one of my biggest clients of all time has been Thug because he right. became such a huge uh, fashion icon. Right. You did, it was crazy. He just did something with, like, high fashion with the museum and putting his picture yeah, up against art. The, Were you part of that? No, no, no. No, okay. he's working with, um, you know, painters and yeah, yeah, artists. That's, yeah. like, not my lane at all. I got you. Yeah, but, um, yeah, he became huge when I first met him. You know, he used to dress crazy. Yeah. I kind of cleaned him up. Um, I know Birdman used to try to go around the city looking for stylists, and he didn't want to work with nobody until, you know, we met, and he liked my, you know, my creativity, and right. we just kicked it. And yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. Man, that's what's up. And then everybody just started coming from there? Everybody. You know, then Birdman signed me. I started working with his whole label, then athletes, entertainers. Mm -hmm. You know, everybody wanted to work with me. And that's the biggest reason why I wanted to open up a store. Yeah. Because I didn't have enough time in my day to just style everybody. Right. right. So I was like, let me open up a shopping. business. If you guys want my stuff, then pull up and get it. You know, I don't have to personally give it to you guys. That's what's up. Yeah. Do you so. still style, though? Um, rarely, like, you know what I mean? It has to be a big name. Like, I'll, ha I'll keep some of my clients that I, you know, I like a T-Pain, somebody that I've worked with for so long, uh -huh. you know, I'll never get rid of him. Right. Yeah, but I'll still charge <laughs> him the Beyonce. same. Yeah. You gotta yeah. come to you. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be somebody, you know, for example, like Kodak Black, like, mm -hmm. you know, I've always wanted to work with him. So, you know, why, I would why take... Why though? Like, why would you want to work with Kodak? What made you say, ah, oh, that would be a dope client? Because... I've been following him for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been following him since he used to put his mixtapes out. So mm -hmm. I've always been a fan of his. Yeah. And I've just seen him grow so much as a person. Mm -hmm. And 
I feel like, you know, I could help him. Like, I can, you know, I don't know if you guys have noticed, he's definitely yeah, cleaned he's up. Yeah, definitely different, different style. I yeah. can see it. He got yeah. little and he's trying to style. And, he's yeah. trying to do a yeah. little something. Yeah, yeah. so. Yeah. He's trying, so, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. So yeah. man, we right here with JoJo. We talking about her fashion boutique, a little bit of love and hip hop, and man, all the stuff she got going now. Um, I see you got a new interest on the show, or just uh, no you know, in general. Um, did he sing to you? That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm single now. Okay, oh. just in case everybody was okay. wondering, you know, that right. lasted like five minutes. Shoot your shot, fellas. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was kidding. <laughs> that lasted like five minutes, but um. Pleasure is definitely not my type, but he's a great guy. I got you. you know what I mean? He's a really nice guy. Um, I have nothing bad to say about him. That's what's up. But, you know, me and him just, you guys are going to see because it's probably coming up in the next couple episodes. Okay. We just couldn't click. So what is your type? <clears throat> Tons of people want to know. This is not me yes. asking. It's so complicated. <laughs> I have like a list of like five hundred things that I need. Oh, <laughs> That's why probably why you're single. I ain't so going to lie. What's your top three? Yeah. <laughs> Okay, first of all, you got to be humble. Okay. I hate cocky people. Okay. I don't consider myself cocky, so I just hate dealing Confident, with cocky people. Confident, but not cocky. Confident, but okay. not cocky. I got you. I you got know, you, you got to be extra nice. Once I see assholeness, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I don't want no kids. I don't want the baby mama, the ex-girlfriend. None so wait I, a zero second. Drama. Hold up. So they got to be <laughs> confident, not cocky, extra nice, but no kids. Yeah. That's pretty much everybody <clears throat> 25 to 18. Under. No, nah, I'm just playing. It's it'd be it's rare. Slim pickings, it'd be though. some, you know what I'm saying? I've been seeing a couple guys here and there. They're, you know, it's a couple. Yeah, you, you'll it is. find them. You know, you gotta weed through the weirdo ones. Gotcha. Like, why don't you have any kids? Why don't you have this? And then there's, you know, some. I like family you know? oriented too. Right. You know what I mean? You gotta be all about your family. I always they look at their relationship. No kids and be family oriented, Joe. They're family. You're being too picky. Because no, hold on now. There's some <laughs> guys. You know, I'm a, I want to get married at some point. Right, you right, know, right, nowadays right. I just see all these people having kids and baby mama, and they never get married. Like right. I want to do stuff the right way because that's how I was yeah, brought up. Yeah, mm-hmm. I understand. I was gonna ask that. Did your upbringing? Yeah, my parents were married. Even though they got divorced, they were mm-hmm. married. They were together for thirty years. Yeah. And then your pops is super successful. So then that's yeah. like that kind of you want somebody like that. I can see that. I definitely can see that. I'm definitely. I got three kids and three baby mamas. That's bad. Yeah. So he's oh, uh, you got three people. Three, <laughs> three people. Look, three people trusted me with they see. Damn. <laughs> but you know what it is too? It's culture. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I, I was born in Mexico and mm-hmm. I was raised in Mexico. So over there. You can't have a kid unless you're married, mm. you know? Yeah. So even, like, for me, if I had a kid right now. You were married. Shotgun wedding. My family would hate me, mm. you know, because it's just, you know, not the right thing to do. Right, culture So yeah, I'm over here trying to find a husband, and right. it's like, out here, it's like nobody cares about getting married anymore. Nobody, yeah. Nobody. Yeah. So it's, like, really tough for me to date. I got you. So, fellas, if you want to get married first, you got to move to Mexico. That's basically what I heard. That is. <laughs> <laughs> now we're gonna fast forward a little bit and bring up something maybe not as comfortable because you just had an exchange in the hallway yeah. with this person that was a friend. Correct. Right. Yeah. So if, if people aren't in the know, uh, you just bumped into Amara outside of this studio, and it was the most that was the weirdest exchange I have seen up here all year. It's early though; it's still January. <laughs> It's early. <laughs> so I was like, dang, I thought y'all was cool. I mean, we were at one point. Uh-huh. You know, I felt like um, I was a good friend to Amada. Mm. You know, even throughout the first season and so far this season, I, I mean, all the beef that I have was, you know, trying to stick up for her. Yeah. You know, and everybody trying to come for her afro and her skin tone and all that. Right. You know what I mean? I had no business in none of that drama. Right. Mm-hmm. But I was just trying to look out for her. So, you know... I feel like if we're that close of friends, you know what I'm saying, when we've been through some deep shit together and right. we fall out about something so stupid, it should be nothing for you to pick up the phone and call me and be like, yo, all right, My this bad. is love and hip hop. You know, yeah. this scene was retarded. Mm-hmm. Let's figure it out. Mm-hmm. Instead of running with it, you know what I'm saying, days go by yeah. and you tweeting and you blogging and, you know, shit Which becomes a bigger issue. Next thing you know, you know, you see that I have beef with Shay and you run around being best friends with Shay. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? Like... I don't have no hate for her, but I'm just, like, real disappointed. You know what I'm I saying? Got I got you. Yeah. Do you think it could be worked out? You think maybe you guys can sit down and talk about it and come to some type of agreement? I mean, 
for me, it's like, I can't just be best friends with somebody one day and then the next day be like, fuck them. I can't right. do that. Right. You know what I'm saying? If I loved you, like, I still I still love Amada. Mm-hmm. But I'm just really in my feelings about it. So it would have to be like, we would have to sit down and have a long conversation. That's what's up. Man. Yeah. I hope y'all do that. Because I need to see this. Like, <laughs> I, need, I, need the, uh, I need y'all to be cool again. Because yeah. it means so much for, like, Everything that's going on with you guys, both of you guys being if I'm Dominican, you Mexican, and then the skin tones is a little different, but it's like the same. To see y'all together, it gives a lot of people hope. You know it do. And I yeah. and I seen that we brought a lot of positivity last year, you know, but I felt like this year a big reason why we fell out is, you know, we both of us shined last year and it's like this year everybody in the show is trying to, you know, prove a point on mm-hmm. us. Like, you know, just how they're trying to call her you know, the biggest hoe in America. They're trying to make me to be now the fakest girl. You know what I'm saying? So right. it's just like, you know, yeah. that shit gets to you. Yeah. Yeah. As no, much I'm as you want to be strong and you're like, nah, you know, I don't care about that stuff. It gets to you. Producers yeah. talking in your ear all day. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Other people trying to be messy and shit. So I don't know, man. It's it's tough being able to have a real friendship on Love & Hip Hop. I got you. Yeah. I got you. I feel you. And besides Love & Hip Hop, what else do you got going on? Well, I have something really dope going on right now. Okay, let's Ooh. let's. I see the smile, the sparkle. <laughs> Talk to me. Um, I just I've been working on a collaboration with Kuji. Mm. So oh. it's about yeah, we've made some really dope stuff, and we're about to have it in like every Foot Locker. How did y'all US. hook up with Kuji? How you hook up with them? That's well, in Australia. Yeah, it's crazy, right? <laughs> right. Well, um, I was working on my own clothing brand. So now that I did my store, I was like, now everything in my store has to be my name. I don't yes. want to carry other brands. Right. So, um, and eventually maybe I can have my stuff in like, you know, other stores. Yeah. Like Foot Locker. Yeah. So we were working with the same company. Mm. And I guess Kuji saw my line that I had created. And they were like, we love this. That's like, is there any way that we can, mm-hmm. you know, we sat down and figured it out. So That's we have dope. that coming up. It's bring really back cool. the bring back the Kuji pants. I'm trying. So, I was just gonna say, so since it's gonna be in Foot Locker, what can we expect? Like more active wear or the like the little jumpsuits and stuff? Well, I'm gonna tell y'all who I use for inspiration for all my work is Kanye. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be, you know, kind of like a lot of basic stuff that you can like wear down or wear up. You know okay. what I'm saying? It could gotcha. be it'll be a dope pair of sweatpants that you can wear with heels or sneakers. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. So Looking it's gonna out be for something us. cool. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm also trying to help Kuji come back. Gotcha. Cool. Yeah, because, yeah. You know, their stuff is I ain't gonna little... lie. When I went to prom, I had the Coogee sweater and pants. I thought I was the freshest dude alive. Like, <laughs> for real. Bring back the But Kuji everything pants. comes back around. You see Champion, you see all of that stuff. Everybody so it all comes back, back around. around. So okay. I think it'll be a really dope collaboration because mm-hmm. I'm like all into, you know, this modern look. Yeah. And they're old school. So I think us together is going to be really dope. I'm excited about that. Dope. I'm looking yeah. forward to that. Yeah. Is it going to be exclusively at Full Locker or will it be on your website as well? Um, It's going to be on my website as well. Okay. And probably my store. It might not be the whole collection, you know, but right. I'll throw pieces here and there. Okay. You know? where, where can people find because there's a couple of people may not know um well my instagram is jojo zaror mm-hmm. zaror is the name of my store my brand everything right. that's and for good people, you named it after yourself can't nobody take it period mm-hmm. right. <laughs> um so that's why i'm gonna be so fresh and spell it for the slow ones out there. right because a lot of people are right. like zaror. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> zaror. wait pronounce it azur See what I'm saying? You Azur. Up my whole she day. said JoJo Azur. Azur. Exactly. Azur. 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 But yeah, you have to spell it Say for it the slow ones time. out there so they so can find it. Z- you. It's like Zara. Zara, but Zara. You know what I'm saying? Zaror. Zaror. Z A R U R. And that's why I was letting him say it because, in all honesty, I was pronouncing it kind of like Zara. I was like, yeah, that's because you say it. She threw me under the bus. She threw me under the bus. And she's like, you say it. Why'd you mess up? So I will get blamed for it. Yeah, because then people are like, Zaror, you know what I'm saying? Trying to pull it up and they can't. It's cool. It's cool. Zaror. 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 Yeah. I said it right that Zeror. time. There we go. How would you spell learning? it? Z-A-R-U-R. Okay, cool. That's it? Yeah, that's it. Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-Z-
Um, but even my Coogee line is more of like a, a unisex. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So, you know, I'm like a tomboy, believe it or not. No, nah, we don't believe it. I know y'all don't believe it. <laughs> <Nah>. Right. <laughs> right. But me on an everyday, I be wearing a hoodie and sneakers. Like, but I think that's all girls. They like to, you know, take their guys' hoodies and stuff like that. So Now, y'all be stealing. That's not take. That's stealing. I just well, want y'all to know Well, you're my man. That. It's what's ours. <laughs> See, I have a pair of $1,000 sweatpants in my closet, and I'm still going to wear my boy's exactly. you know, hoodie. Like, that's just that's what it stealing. is. That's stealing. I just yes. want y'all to know that. We be looking for our stuff. Bring our hoodies back. I'm going to start making signs. <laughs> we want our hoodies back. What's it's the saying? What's too. yours is mine. And what's mine is mine. That's probably why I'm single, because what's mine is mine right now. I need all my hoodies. Damn, you single and you got how many kids? I'm a single dad. I got three. Damn. Yeah, I take care of them, too. They be at, at, with me. That's what's Crazy. up. Yeah. That's dope. Yep. Nah, it's not dope. Help me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do an Instagram post. <laughs> B-Day coming up. We need Man, a lady. For real, though. For real, for real, though. Nah, but we appreciate you coming by and just opening up your life to us and, man, just talking about all the great things you got popping. So where do you see yourself next year this time? Where's JoJo? Um, I don't know. Mm. That's a good question. It's like these next couple months are going to be, like, really big for me. You know mm. what I mean? I'm not sure if reality TV is my route. Like, I don't I don't know. I'm kind of like right now I'm taking it day by day because mm -hmm. right. it's a lot of stuff coming up. I wake up some days to, like, you know what I'm saying, life-changing stuff. Mm. So I, I really plan, like, a month or two ahead. Mm -hmm. I stopped planning a year, two years, because there'd be so much stuff going on. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just more of a realistic person. Okay. Yeah. So so let me ask you this. What would be your perfect, since Valentine's Day is coming up, what would be your perfect Valentine's Day situation? Yo, damn, why are you just reminding me? Now I'm sad. Me <laughs> <laughs> too, it's okay. Oh, we all sad in here. It's a triangle of sadness. Damn. Don't want to include you in our sadness, but you can join. <laughs> I'm like, oh, I mean, I love dates. Mm -hmm. You know, I think anything that makes you feel special, like girls love flowers and they just want to feel special. You don't have to spend a bunch of money. Like, for me, I know I look like I'm, like, super bougie and you probably need a million dollars to make me happy, but it'd be the smallest thing that makes me happy. Like you know, a little, like a flower. Like, oh, man. you buy me a flower, I'll, I'll be happy. That's you know what up. I mean? So if he just came with a flower, sent you some flowers, and was like, let's go out. That will make my day. That's what's up. Yeah. Simple, super simple. Super simple. But effort. You see yeah, the effort. Yeah, just effort. I know a lot of girls are like, oh, I want this and I want that. I'm... I'm not like that. Okay. But when you got it yourself, that's why you're like, you that's just probably that what thing. it is. Mm -hmm. You know, because so many people are always asking me for stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you have it, it's all about what you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, you know, sometimes just the little details that are genuine is what really means the most for okay. somebody like me. You know? That's what's up then. Yeah. Definitely what's up. JoJo, we appreciate you. Fellas, if you decide to slide in her DMs, you better be, <laughs> you better get ready to take on a good little date, all right? And flowers. What and kind no of kids. flowers? What kind of flowers? <laughs> no kids, please. What kind of flowers? Your favorite flower? I like red roses. Okay. Yeah. Plastic. All right. Okay. Plastic. Yeah, so we keep go. it real simple. Yeah. Hey, Ain't nothing too complicated go. about me. <laughs> All right. Jojo. <laughs> Jojo's a roar. There you go. Hey, exactly. that's where we going to end it at. <laughs> She's scared to say it, but it's okay. We appreciate you coming by. This is 107.9.